Louisiana Beer Reviews, we have Samuel Adams Cold IPA. <clears throat> well, every IPA I drink is cold. Crisp and hoppy, 6% alcohol, 40 bitterness units, certified kosher. This beer is brewed in America by the Boston Beer Company. This beer is available in the Cheers for Beers Winter Variety Pack. This is produced by an independent craft brewer. This beer has different shades of blue on the label. This beer is best before February, February of 2023. The, the website doesn't say anything really. It just says inspired by our Boston winters. I've been to Boston twice in the, well, more than twice, but been to baseball games there twice at Fenway Park and it was during the summer. Cold IPA is fermented at colder temperatures for a fresh, fresh spin on the style. This beer has a balanced bitterness with a bold burst of IPA hops. IPA hops. When winter hits, raise a cold one. Jim Cook, Cook, founder and brewer. Okay. All right. There's a legal disclosure. Beer. Now, you know, ales are usually fermented at warmer temperatures. This is a twist cold IPA. I haven't read any written reviews. I haven't watched any videos. I did see one video reviewer, a guy named Joe, and he was saying, uh, I was sorry I saw that because he was saying, it's horrible, it's horrible. And I was like, oh, I don't need any influence. Although I did look at Beer Advocate's score. They're saying 83, good, so they're not saying it's horrible. Rape Beer saying, good, it's average, 74 out of 100. In the style, they say it's terrible, a 66, a D, and Untap's giving it a 71, which is, you know, like a B minus for them. Not much head of foam, that's a little strange. A very thin white head of foam, and a clear as a bell, golden, uh, you know what? It's gold, but it's like straw, light gold straw. Okay, so if you poured this for me and said, what do you think this is? I would say, I don't know, is it like a flat old Milwaukee? You know, I'm not trying to be flip or smart. I like this you know, old Milwaukee, get it this thick head of foam. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to be open minded. Yeah, it's bright on the hops. I mean, the hop, the uh, piney hops are coming right at you. This is definitely a, a departure from the haze craze. Hmm. Appearance, well, without the good head of foam, that's not so great. But the aroma is really nice. White bread crust and piney bright hops. Let's go with the taste chas. It's lemony. Medium bodied, crisp finish, lemony, white bread crust, 40 IBUs. I mean, to me, 40 IBUs is more like a pale ale. And an IPA is a pale ale. It's an India pale ale, but this tastes more like a pale ale. And that might be part of the complaint, but look how many IPAs over the last 10 years have been alleged IPAs. Um, bitterness. Huh. Yeah. Two and a half out of five. Hop cones. Sweetness. Three out of five sugar cubes. I think if they'd have called it a cold pale ale, it'd be all right. Really nice. But India pale ale. I don't know, I just, but I don't, I hadn't been, I haven't been getting it for 10 years. You know, for 10 years I've been like, very confused. 
and I'm hoping that maybe it's just me. I like I don't understand because I hope it's not that the brewers don't understand. That's a big industry. I'm one person. They're important. I'm not. Um, it's very resinous though. But you crisp and hoppy. Okay, it's crisp. It is hoppy in the sense of hops. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but there are some bit bitter resinous uh, pale ales, like Dales, which is more like an IPA than a pale ale, and this is more like a pale ale than an IPA. Um, mm. Flavor is good, enjoyable, a little Samuel Adams ish, meaning kind of bland. Are they the only craft beer company that puts out a lot of bland beers? No, 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 no. I can name them all. I've done it before. No, I can't name them all, but I can name a lot. Um, but they sort of exemplify that. You know, it's like uh, they're the default name for that. I'm not really knocking them for it because 1649 a 12-pack, yeah, that's okay. I wouldn't pay more than that. I would well I'd probably go to sixteen ninety nine for these, but I wouldn't go higher. Not at this time. It's just that their beers ten years ago there was inter there was some interesting products, twenty ten, twenty eleven. You know like that the the white Imperial White Ale, which kind of gagged me. It was too strong. And then the, the Doppelbach, which was awesome. They had a series of those four packs. The Imperial Series, whatever it was called. I don't know. Brewmaster Super Premium Quality Series or something. Then they had the uh, Fat Jack Pumpkin Ale. like a strong pumpkin ale. Those were, they just had interesting products. Of course, they did Utopias, which I never bought. But, uh. I think they just decided, well, the expenses for those is so high, you don't really make much money. Well, let's just put out ordinary, mundane, and kind of ho-hum products, and it'd just be a steady income on that. And it would appeal to a lot of people that aren't really used to these so-called exotic flavors. They don't make the Boston Ale anymore. They did bring back the Black Lager, which I'm curious to see how that's going to be. Um... I mean, you could just you could go through like so many. The Rebel Rouser, I love that one, but it didn't last. People say it's too strong, it's too bitter. They were like, okay, going back to Bland. I like the Rebel IPA. You know. Um, it's a good flavor. And that's all it is. Good. It's like Beer Advocate saying, good. 83, good. I'm going to go a little higher. I'm going to say 84. It's good. The price for this is not good. Because I can get a lot of good beers for a much better price. But whatever the case, I tried it. I'm not hating it. I'm taking the middle ground, not for strategic or tactical reasons. I'm taking the middle ground because that's the way I, I believe. That's the way I believe it stands. Uh, that's the way I view it. I see it. So <clears throat> it's a good beer. Yes, but when I buy craft beers, I want them to be awesome. You know, anything that comes below and comes in at below a 93 and just hits a minus, I'm not pleased with it. To tell you the truth. I look at it as like kind of a failure. So when I'm paying craft beer prices, I want at a minimum in A, 93 to 97. <clears throat> if it comes in below that, I, I look at it as a flop. And you might say, yeah, but you just said it was good. I know. Middle High Life is good. And in fact, better than just good. My friend David got Schlitz pint cans of six pack for five ninety nine. That's into the A at least the A minus range. So you got to look at it when the you got to stack them that way. So anyway, yeah, yeah, okay. 
is this what I ex does this like a another fellow beer reviewer says does this meet expectations it does meet expectations because this is about what I expected and this is typically what I expect when I buy their variety packs and you can you can see where I'm going with that so laissez les bon temps relay yeah and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to one of their breweries and take a tour.